Oh, well, hi! This week, we're gonna turn this, like, double XL shirt and turn it into a very fashionable cowl neck. And just to keep the branding consistent, here's what you need. I guess actually keeping it consistent would mean there'd be beer in this glass, but it's like quarter of six in the morning, and I do have some standards for myself. Though I do have a growler of Rockingham's Coffee Stout that will be consumed later today. The main thing you're gonna need is just an oversized shirt. You're also gonna need a shoelace. I'm gonna try to make a teeny tiny rope out of the scrap material on the shirt, but I know it's gonna be a bitch, so if I get sick of that, shoelace is a good backup. Just get it in a matching color. You'll also need scissors, pins, matching thread, and a sewing machine. That's it. So let's do the thing. I'm actually gonna use my dress form today, which I feel like gets underutilized. If you do not have a dress form, all you have to do is put this on yourself inside out, or even just lay a well-fitting t-shirt over this and just pinning along the edge of that shirt. Just make sure to give yourself a seam allowance. I'm also gonna cut off the sleeves because I have an idea and we'll see how it works out. Probably most importantly is we're gonna need to cut off the collar, especially if it's just a regular crew neck t-shirt. Normally I seam rip them off, which is not only time consuming, but also not gonna give me the shape that I need for this. So I'm just gonna take my trusty old rotary cutter. Instead of taking scissors and cutting just around the edge of the collar, I'm gonna cut through both layers along the front collar so that it's gonna deepen the scoop on the back because I don't want the back to be this high for the cowl. Nailed it, now you get a sweet fashion accessory. So now I'm gonna go back to doing the very first thing I told you to do and pin the sides actually for real this time. I ended up using some chalk to mark. Lego boyfriend is making all of the noise in the shop. He is redoing our kitchen, so I can't give him too much grief, but fuck that tile saw's loud. And I decided to actually draw a chalk line so I know where the fuck I'm sewing. Now let's do the sewing part. I'm gonna trim off the excess with my pink and shears. Ooh, look how shapely. Now that my sleeve holes are readjusted, I'm going to fold the edge over twice and then do a little hem job. So to assemble the actual cowl, I'm gonna take both those sleeves that I pulled off. I separated the seam that goes like under your arm. I squared them off a little bit, but I left the rounded part because that'll fit nicely into the neck hole. Then I unpicked a little bit of the stitching at the edge where the hem is on all four edges just so I could pin and stitch both sides right sides together without stitching over the little hole gap casing because spoiler alert that's where the shoelace is going to go and you need some kind of tube thing. See once the edges are stitched together when you flip it the other way you have like a ready-made flap here so now it's just a matter of re-stitching over the stitches you unpicked i definitely didn't realize i was still wearing this collar bit now it's time to attach the cowl to the neck of the shirt shirt is inside out i'm going to tuck the cowl right side out into here matching up the side seams of the cowl to the shoulder seam and then pin the shit out of that oh my gosh you guys we're almost done everything can get turned right side out now I can't wait to put this on, yeah. Like I said at the beginning, I was thinking of making like my own tiny little tube of fabric out of some of the scraps. And though it does sound super fun to try to turn out a teeny, teeny, tiny piece of fabric like that, that would be crazy long also. For anyone that's had to turn out fabric like that, it's kind of the worst. Not only am I cutting out frustration on this project, but I really like how stark white the shoelace is, and obviously the logo is white, so I think it's going to suit the shirt a lot better. Figure out where on the cowl you want the shoelaces to come out. I'm just gonna make two tiny little slits. See, they're just the tiniest little slits. They just need to be big enough for the, um, god, what is this called? I know there's a whole fucking song about it. The nib through. Okay, I got it through without taking too long. And oh my god, I'm gonna try it on now. I'm so excited because it came out so good so far. <gasps> good, I'm so excited. I'm pretty sure I just made like my new favorite t-shirt. Once I edit and upload this, I'm actually headed to the March for Science. And I think I'm just gonna keep this on the whole time because you can't make beer without science. And it's so long, like you can't even see the bottom in frame.